DRE3's David Beenick is here now with the latest polling numbers heading into the primary. And boy, it is just getting closer and closer for the Democrats. You heard Bernie Sanders talking about turnout, yeah. and that will be key. According to the latest fuel poll released today, Bernie Sanders is now within two percentage points of Hillary Clinton. You remember 15 months ago, Clinton was leading Sanders 73% to 10%. But each time this poll has been conducted over the last 15 months, that gap has narrowed. And so now, Clinton leads Sanders 45 to 43 percent. Now, Clinton is doing well with voters 50 and over, women and African Americans. Meanwhile, Sanders is drawing his support from voters 30 and under, men and, for the first time in this poll, Asian Americans. What's interesting to look at here is the Democratic primary, obviously open not just to registered Democrats, but also voters who have registered with no party preference. So how is the split looking when you factor in those voters? It's a huge split in this case. Yes, Clinton is leading 49 to 40 percent among registered Democrats, but Sanders has a two to one lead, 54 to 27 percent among those no party preference voters. However, it's not yet clear how many of those no party preference voters realize that they're going to have to ask for a Democratic ballot when they go to the polls on Tuesday. That's again, that big turnout issue. Will those no party preference voters turn out on Tuesday? So the, of course, the, the big focus, the delegates, as we're going from state to state to state here in California, as with most of the states for Democrats, they award most of their delegates by congressional district. It's what's called the proportionate way to divvy up the delegates. So which districts, as you look across the state, would you expect to go one way or the other here? Yeah, the field poll couldn't really help us with this one, but according to election analyst Paul Mitchell, the battleground map kind of looks like this at this point. Sanders is drawing his support from the North Coast, mm -hmm. as well as the congressional district that includes Solano and Yolo counties. He's also getting some of the uh, western part of San Bernardino County. Clinton, meanwhile, is getting some of her most solid report support right here in Sacramento, the city of Sacramento, as well as down along the border. The area that's considered up for grabs at this point. The battleground districts include the wine country of Northern California, San Jose, and the coastal area between Los Angeles and San Diego. So they're still scheduling campaign appearances at this point, and that's maybe where we're going to see some of those targeted uh, campaign stops. Exactly. Meanwhile, over on the Republican side, Donald Trump, he already has enough uh, delegates to sew up the nomination. The field poll also found out some inter interesting information about him. His favorability rating among registered, among likely Republican voters has gone up. Now 60 percent compared to an unfavorable rating of 35 percent. That's nine points higher for favorability than he had back in January. You remember yesterday in Sacramento, he was talking about trying to make uh, California competitive. That's not looking likely, according to this poll. Both Sanders and Clinton would beat Trump in the general election here in California by double digits. Although November is a long way away, and it's been such an unpredictable election season. Exactly. So we'll see. All right, David, thank you.